China's pet industry has grown in leaps and bounds. Last year it was worth $40 billion, catering to an increasing number of pet owners, many of whom are in their 20s. Shops, cafes and even museums are getting involved. Our correspondent Ying Junyi reports. The number of pets in China has soared, reaching over 120 million in 2023, and the cats are the most popular. And the Shanghai Museum is capitalizing on that interest, planning 10 special cat-friendly sessions titled Fantastic Night on Saturday nights as part of the ongoing Egyptian Antiquities exhibition there. That allows visitors to share an educational experience with their pet cats. I can see all the displays here with my cat. I think it's quite interesting. I think it's a chance to interact with other cats and take some photos. The organizer says there are 200 tickets available for each session, and all these feline tickets sold out within days. Licensed cat veterinarians, pet medical service and cat-friendly devices such as cat storage, cat mood stabilizers and cat strollers will also be available. We've invited some experts in the pet industry as well as some medical institutions to help us ensure the smooth running of the events. We hope our visitors can experience the exhibition in such a new way. And just like the museum, more shopping malls and local communities are extending a friendly welcome to pets. Here on Yuyuan Road in downtown Shanghai, that policy is attracting more pet-friendly customers. Most of the stores here are pet-friendly. And you can see many puppy lovers bring their pets here during holidays and weekends, sitting at the outdoor areas of restaurants along the road and having meals. Many pet product makers, they also choose to debut their latest products and do promotions here. In addition to those stores, some airlines are also seeing potential in the ferry buddies. Like Hainan Airlines, it's now allowing eligible small dogs and cats to travel in the cabin of the aircraft on flights departing from some 23 airports nationwide. So far this year, there are eight times as many pets that have enjoyed this service compared to last year. We are also negotiating with insurance companies to offer special pet insurance for those dogs and cats traveling with their owners in the cabin. All these pet-friendly changes stem from the booming market in Fairy Friends. And of course, we can expect more pet product and service providers to make sure that our little buddies are well taken off. In Junyi, ISIS for CGTN, Shanghai.